Number one, Home Hits. Hit of the Week. This is Home Hits. Yet another Arnold Kiddy Touch. It's the hit of the week. But I na kuchuka cut. Beat in a boom boom. Hit of the week. But 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 I na kuchuka cut. Home hits. Crossing over. Are we crossing over? Are we crossing over? Jesus taking over. Are we crossing over? Are we crossing over? Are we crossing over? Brand new uniform, I'm a uniform. Yeah, for what? Brand new uniform, I'm a uniform. Welcome, welcome, Gary Butaraja. Well done. How you go pama ti babu to? What's up to five four? Uh, this is Home Hits. I'm your girl Caroline, and ha, uh, I feel so good when I have to like do this show again and again and again and again and again. Guys, before I like forget or anything, we have in a countdown. Uh, we are counting to like a few days to the month of Cancer. As you all know, Cancer month is next month, so join us in having that countdown. We'll be doing it on our social pages. That is a uh, on Facebook, we are, our page is Home Hits, and on Twitter, we are at Home Hits. So guys, join us there. We'll be having a countdown from today. So please join us in doing it. And uh, once you get to that month, we're going to like tell you what you guys should do on that month. And uh, this show, I have a lot of things lined up for you today. We have a beautiful interview from a guy. Please, I have to confirm his name because I think it's a tongue twister kidogo, but pardon me for that. The guy is called Dam Jomba. He's done hits like Clavenda and Akama Ningejua. He's with us in the studios. He's going to be joining us shortly. Uh, we're going to hear lots and lots about him. You have any question you want to ask him? Please, social media is there because of you guys. That's how we communicate. Join us there. Post whatever question you want to ask him and you'll get your feedback. And also, Kama Kawaida, we have a question that you're hitting the streets with and uh, this time it's said to like get a little bit serious i'm asking do people think that the upbringing of kids has changed in any way unajua kuna watoto wa kuna watoto wa ndoma na ngwashe and stuff where do you belong hit us also on our social media tell us where you belong we'd we'll love to have you girls guys and all with us so feel free to join us and uh, we take a short break we come back with our interviews so guys don't move Home Hits. Guys, welcome back. This is Home Hits. We're coming to you from 254 Nairobi. And as you can see, ha, huh, have some company in this studio. Uh, he'll tell us who he is. He'll tell us what he does. So, a boom you see, guys, kind of because I think, as you can see from his look, he's an interesting guy. I think he has, like, really interesting things that you want to hear. So, watch an inyamaze. It is his time. He's going to tell us what he does, maybe, and... Uh, at least ka background, kake kidogo, we need to know that. We, know, we need to know who this person is. So, hey, Mambo. Poor son. Unongia na nani hapa hivi? Unongia na Dam Jomba. Who is this person? We need to know. Tell these people when in nani. Okay, so Dam Jomba ni msani. Uh, anafanya mziki kwa style ya kiswahili siwezi nikaiita bongo kwa sababu siishi si bongo. Uh, bongo ni Tanzania. So, anafanya nyimbo zangu kwa mtindo wa kiswahili. Yeah. So, we ndo Dam Jomba. I have a challenge already. <laughs> My Kiswahili is pathetic. Pathetic is an understatement. So I hope communication will be okay over here. Itakuwa sawa. Nitajaribu lakini. So your music background, Kidogo, or maybe before you get into your music background, tell us about your childhood background. <clears throat> okay, kwanza naza nkasema mimi ni mtoto wa kwanza nimezaliwa kwa familia ya watoto wanne na oh, dada ananifuata alafu ndugu wawili so kuna time nilikuwa nimefukuzwa school fee maina wanjigi hiyo ilikuwa ni 207 ilikuwa form 1 so ikakuwa ni noma sana okay before nilikuwa naimba lakini ni zile mchezo nini friday unapata tuna tunaimba kwa kwa kuma class hivi friday tulikuwa naeka darasa moja maybe tunasema wasanii wanaimba nini tunapiga mangoma so but nikaona hiyo ni mchezo nikiingia form 1 Izo story zikaisha. So, a form 1, form 2, maina wanjigi, nika kosa school fee, nika toka. So, vile nilitoka, nika kanyumbani 2 years, kwa sababu madhe alishindua kufikisha hiyo pesa, na baba pia ilikuwa tatizo. So, tukakuwa, tukakuwa hapo, mpaka wakati sasa niligundua kume na zaimba. 
na nikakumbuka ile time nilikuwa naimba alafu kuna wenzangu walikuwa washatoka na kwa shule tukiimba walikuwa wanasema wewe uko sawa so ilinibidi nirudi back nifikirie mziki na nikafanya nyimbo ya kwanza ilikuwa ni tola venda so hiyo ndio ilinirudisha shule hiyo ilikuwa mwaka gani hiyo ilikuwa ni 208 ikienda kuisha ndio nika eh, 209 nikarudi shule so maybe pengine before tuendele mm. kuna mtu kwa family bado anafanya music eh, baba yangu eh, anafanya muziki lakini alikuwa anafanya akiwa kijana eh, alafu amemba wimbo wengine tu hapa ya ya, ya, ya zilizopendwa sipendi kuimba lakini ni wimbo iko tu kwa radio kidogo <laughs> maybe tusikie hapa ni wimbo sipendi kuimba sana mm. eh, so amekuwa akiimba akaacha pia alikuwa kwa hizi kwaya hizi hao wanaimba oh Musa eh alikuwa hapo kwa hiyo kwaya so naona ni kama nimechukua kwake oh that's a nice thing at least kuna mtu i'm sure you ku encourage hivi you kuambia mziki si rahisi true and uh, maybe kuna challenges gani ambazo so far ume encounter kwa music journey yako eh, kwanza naweza nikasema challenges ni nyingi sana eh, Unapata maybe unafanya ngoma mzuri audio inatoka poa but unapata pesa video na kwa tatizo. So na saizi watu wako digital mziki watu wasikii kwa redio sana. So ngoma yako inaishia isha tu chini paka inapotea kabisa. E, so hiyo ndio challenge ya kwanza tuna face. Challenge ya pili ni ile maybe haujafika mahali uliko unataka but fan nataki kujua hivyo. Mkikutana lazima umweke mbele na hapo mtakosana sana. Mm, na zingine nyingi. Mm. Unajua they say that uh, life is a journey. <coughs> Nataka kuamini pia music industry is a journey. Mm. Mtu anza mahali, alafu anaendelea kisonga mbele. Mm. So so far umefanya ngoma gani? Ni ngapi? Kuna collab, kuna ile latest, mm. unajua? Yeah. Kwanza nilianza na Lavenda, hiyo nilifanya na Mr. Boo. Ilikuwa inaitwa Parliament Record, hiyo ni 209. Eh, nikakuja nikafanya babu ulichofanya na nilifanya na Team Still Alive. E, kidogo kidogo nikakuja nikafanya ngoma na Mr. Seed ilikuwa inaitwa Jehova na saa hizi nimefanya ngoma mbili moja inaitwa Niombe na inafanya vizuri kwa maredio na nimefanya kolabo na Ecodida, Masimasika, Redemption, Bose MG tumefanya tukiwa wote. Hey guys, this guy looks young. Lakini as you can hear he's done big stuff. We have to take a short break but Before we break we want to play this guy's song and maybe anaweza tuguzia kidogo to the song I understand is called Lavenda uh we're going to play it as we take the break but let's just listen at least kidogo then we we'll leave you with the song Alikuwa msana mzuri na mwema alipendeza sana wazazi walimpenda hata majirani wakampongeza vile udarasani namba moja yani klasi ukanisani ya kungoja alikuwa fast alipenda kanisa mpaka ikaoni sawa na nyumba yake ye 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 wazee walisema oya kwamba asiaskia lamku uvunjika gu home hits home hits welcome back people as you can see hatuja songa we are still here the interview is still on and people before i forget there's a look here enye imeni bebakili if i forget to ask about this look aki my fans tutakosana please hit me up on our social media pages that is on facebook we are home hits and on twitter we are at home hits so please remind me keep reminding me about that because we really need to know he look ni nini but before we get there we need to know over what is your music industry journey is what inspires you to do the kind of songs that you do Okay mimi naweza nikasema kile kwa nisaidia mimi kuandika muziki ni kwa sababu ya vitu vinaendelea. Eh nikiona kitu na happen muziki na flow. Kama ngoma yangu ya venda ni idea nilipewa na mama yangu story tu kama kawaida mama na mtoto wanapiga story alafu ikakuwa muziki me flow na ngoma ikatoka mzuri. So mimi kitu, kitu inaendelea hata saa hizi nikiona microphone hivi nini na happen ngoma inaweza ikakuja. Unajua <coughs> sasa unanichanganya. Wacha tu nikuulize muziki yako ni gospel ni secular ina lai wapi Okay mimi kwanza nafanya gospel lakini sana napenda kuimba nyimbo za kufunza mtu ukisikia baba ulichofanya ukisikia lavenda ukisikia maisha ni ngoma za zinaongea na life but mimi nafanya gospel that's why nimetoa ngoma nikiambia kila mtu mniombe eh. oh, 
Oh, it's about inspiration, it's about gospel, it's about... A few years from today, ungetaka kuwa wapi na music jani yako? Mm, sante sana, mina za nikasema uh, kwa ile bidi na eka na kwa maombi, miaka mbili ya matatu na jua ntakuwa maali, mba poneza nikasaidi hata mtu kufika maali anataka pia. Eh. Kenya kuna wasani wengi sana, wengi. Kuna yule ambaye huku inspire, ukimwonevi ya kifanya ngoma zake unasema, natika kuwa kaule msee a few years from today. Ok, ok, naeza sema siyezi taka kwa kama ye, uh -huh. but labda uwa anafanya na tamani sana kuendelea na hii safari ya mziki. Mtu kama Rafton, eh, nikimusikia kwanza hile time badu tunenda crusade zake, Saturday na Sunday, nikiwa mdogo paka wakati huu na mweshimu kama baba na chochote uwa anasema mimi wanafuata. Mm. Awesome. Energy to continue. This is home hits, guys. This is uh, our last segment, so trust you me, I'm promising. The questions I'm bringing up here, ni moto moto. Ni moto. I understand this guy has had some beef. So before we end, atatombia kusuyo beef kidogo. But before then, he's achieved lots of things through music. There are a few things he's done here, so. Okay, hile ndeza nikasema kusu. Chochoto nimefanya na mziki ni kwanza imenisomesha mpaka nikamaliza form 4 na nikafanikiwa kwa ile nyimbo nimefanya na Avril eh, hiyo kampuni ilikuwa imenisign so nimkanunua shamba so sasa hizi maybe ni mjengo kidogo tunafuatuanze yeah. <coughs> young people back at home sasa hata na keep distance kidogo kwa sababu look at him he's so young and he's saying he owns a land somewhere i think that's a big inspiration I knew we were finally going to get here. Kuna beef somewhere. Let us hear it from him. There's a beef somewhere between him and somebody. So, sijuini nini lakini pia mimi. I'm so anxious kuisikia like you guys at home. Labdo ni ambe ni beef yangu na nani? Nilisikia mahali a few years back. Ulikuwa na beef na Willie Paul. Willie Paul na wewe mahali mulipatana. This plan is so. Siko sure maybe you confirm. Okay, kwanza neza nikasema eh, ni ukweli, hizo zilifanyika, eh, nilimpiga. Ulimpiga ama mulipigana? Nilimpiga, kwanza nia ni, ni, nieze kusema kitu moja, ok, spendi kusema hivi, lakini kuna time wa inabidi, mtu aseme. So, mimi nimezaliwa madare, hiyo eh, life yote ya ukichongumu na nini, na kuwa mbaya na najua na watu wangu hiyo ndio life nimepitia so hata wili Paul mwenyewe anajua na ndio maana hata mimi baada ya kumpiga nikamwambia na kupa siku tatu nisikuone nje na kuonekana so mimi nilimpiga kwa sababu ya kunikosea lakini hiyo time ilikuwa bado mimi sijaokoka yale kwa ameokoka tayari ametoharabuka e, so tulipatana tukaomba na msamana life ikaendelea mlipatana uko sure <laughs> e, tulipatana kwa hivyo sahi nikileta nikileta wili Paul hapa hivi Damu haita mwagika mahali. Haiwezi, tunaongea. Hata isho yake alieka uh, redeemed ilikuwa ya siju nini mtaani, talanta siju mtaani. Aliniita emu nyali nipigia sima kana mbe kamu ni support. Ingawa siku perform, but nilenda kumsupport kabro angu. Ya, yeah, alikuna shida yote mina ye. <coughs> you have a beef with someone, please. Settle it. Kama yake na Willie Paul, I want to believe when ya mesema ilisha. PNU, please guys, make sure pia yo mnaimaliza. Before we conclude, finally, Nataka Kujua, I look from the hair to what you wear. Is there something that inspires you to have this look? Because in your language, I'm not sure I'm natural. I'm not sure 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 I'm not Sijaiguza, sijaipelega wapote. Hakuna fan, ata niambia yu uwenda kwa salon yake kutengenezo nyuele? Kama hako wa semen. Aji, tambue. Hey. What of this look? Ok, kuna designer, anaitua Yaro designer. E, Yendo, ananivalisha, na make sure huu kijana na vaje. E, ata kiniambia yu blue, alafu viatu hivi, anajua huu kijana ni aje. E. Ok. <laughs> I want to hear what you think of his look. Please, social media, those pages, Home Hits on Facebook and at Home Hits on Twitter. Hit me up there, tell me what do you think of this look. Niambie, criticize ukitaka bedeo yuko hapa, bifitakuwa sasa mimi na yeye. 
So guys please usiogope ati tutakosana mm -mm. ni mimi na yetu tutapigana you you just our fans and giving us your feedback maybe before we conclude uh, suenda kwa streets mm. tunakuangana swali si uliza mm. and this week we are asking when ni kwanza when ni mtoto wa Witabix when ni mtoto wa Ngwashe na Nduma alafu kishatuambia bu niambie kwanza ni mtoto wa Witabix na papa uh, <laughs> oh, okay according to you what do you think it may change kwa upbringing ya watoto that time na sai okay naweza sema hiyo time kulikuwa wazazi walikuwa serious na na vile watoto wana grow ulikuwa hata mtoto akijaribu kutusi mti wote iwe ni jirani iwe nani mzazi hata jirani alikuwa amekubaliwa kuchapa huo mtoto mtoto alikuwa anaogopa kila mtu na ndio maana ulikuwa pata asubuhi watoto wote wanasalimiana wanasalimia watu wakubwa basi siku hizi ukipiga mtoto wa mtu mama yake mwenyewe atakuja kuambia we ni nani so na hiyo inakuwa watoto wana grow na kichongumu na madharau pia unadhani sasa venye watu hii wana grow 10 years from today ule mtu isaidie tuseme yuko 5 years 10 years from today itakuwa ime impact hiyo mtu hii aje itamsaidia itakuwaaje okay nini itamsaidia hiyo upbringing yenye analetwa unajua kuna ile yeah. That kid is been pampered. Mm. If tunaweza sema ni kuwa pampered. Unadhani itakuwa ime make impact gani? Eh uh, hii inasababisha hata mtoto unajua hii life yetu tuwezi jua. Unaweza kuwa na wazazi leo kesho kitu ya happen watoke wote. Mtoto haezi hasola hata kidogo. Jua mezo ya hiyo maisha tu baba mama. So unapata mtoto tu anything iki happen maybe anabaki kwa dunia ni yeye peke yake. Huo mtoto anakufa maskini kwa sababu yani ni ile life alikuwa amezoea. But kuna ile watoto wanalelewa mpaka unapata hata wazazi wakienda wakikufa hata maybe kitu kama hiyo but ma wapata anaweza endelea na maisha yake anaweza achieve vile alikuwa anataka kwa chini. Advice yote utaweza patia watu maybe regarding on upbringing ya watoto. Eh uh, ile naweza nikasema ni wazazi labda mko busy labda unaamka asubuhi unaenda job unarudi jioni mtoto anabaki na maid ama na, na sister yake ama na nani kitu mzuri ni at least ukikuja make sure umesaidia ume mtoto na vitu mbili ama tatu at least jaribu kumadvise kuhusu ku, ku, na ukisikia amefanya makosa maybe amedharau mtu mkubwa usichukulie juju make sure umefuatilia mpaka amerekebisha mm. thank you Asana. before ni maliza nataka kujua Juna juna tuulizwa tu <coughs> kuna kadem mahali sasa hii ulikaambia utakuwa kwa issue so kameka kana kuangalia kana jua ah that's my darling uko mahali <laughs> usiibike usiibike hata kama ni watatu niambie ah yeah 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 hapana mimi naweza nikasema niko na dem mmoja najulikana kwao na yeye anajulikana kwetu ah. eh hey, okay sijamchukua but anajulikana anajulikana na hiyo ndio kitu muhimu si mambo ya kwa kona kona ama ni nikimhitaji sasa hivi napaka kwa nyumba ama napigia baba yake na muli zako so niko na mm. unapigia baba yake eh hey, hata mama yake kwani iko ni baba si, ni kwanza mama, mama ni sawa hey. baba ni kama baba wangu hakuna cha maji moto hakuna cha nini na mwiko sasa zingine huo mtoto kama labda yuko kwa wako kwangu baba ananipigia anga anambia yako eh hey, namwambia yako mm. That's really nice. Tunataka kuendisho, ningetaka uangalie kamera, uambie fans wako anything ungetaka kuambia, u advice and unaweza tuma salamu mbili tatu hivi. Wow, oh, sawa kitu naweza ambia mafans wangu ni wale wamekuwa kisikia damu jomba wakati wa lavenda, nikakuja nikapotea kidogo kwa sababu ya shule nini? Bak nimerudi na hiyo niombe nimerudi na hiyo collab yangu na Dida emoji inaitwa Nikosoba maana yake tunamaanisha Nikosoba si ati haujalewa Nikosoba tunamaanisha kitu yote utafanya poa hiyo Nikosoba by the way tumeanzisha salamu mtaani sasa hivi ukiambiwa mambo au usemi poa tunasema mm -hmm. Nikosoba so, mambo <laughs> Nikosoba oh, okay <laughs> so unapata hiyo collab hiyo ime come eh merelizio officially mm -hmm. ni video tunashughulikia alafu ngoma yangu ya niombe pia imetoka okay alafu ile kitu naweza nika advice nayo watu wote hiki tu anasema ingawa iko nje ya topic Nisa lakini watu, feel free huwa na, na feel ndipo akosema mm -hmm. mavijana wote kila mtu aids is real ukimwiko kama wewe ni kijana mwanzee wacha hii life ya kuzunguka zunguka hiki tu ni real serious e, na hii ndio inamaliza vijana wengi nimeshuhudia kuna marafiki zangu wame wameingia kwa hiyo mtego so mimi naweza penda mtu yote uko wapi uko na kuru uko wapi tafadhali kama unanisikiza it is real mwanzee jitambue na kama ni god akia god life yako tuma salamu <laughs> wewe uluya sasa ndio lazima lazima <laughs> sasa natuma salamu
mafans wangu wote anatuma salamu kwa basi wa madam wangu huyo anaitwa Liz nampenda sana natuma salamu kwa ma presenter wote wana support muziki ya Kenya si ya Nigeria mm. support Kenyan music that is what we do on home hits gospel secular home hits that's what we play guys we have to end the show i'm so disappointed but remember what time imeisha so ni pause until next week ile mushene yote niko nayo niwapatie tena next week but hakuna shida nataka ku catch feelings but there's no problem i enjoyed hosting this show guys i enjoyed having you as my viewers thank you so much for having been with us uh, for taking your time kukuja hapa we are wishing you all the best ukiendelea na music journey yako we hope to have you back here usifike huko alafu nikikupigia simu watu wezi shika Sawa. Guys, it's been nice having you. Until next week, I've been your girl Caroline so. Bye. Take care. Go on. Home hits hits of the week. This is Home Hits. Yet another Arnold Kiddy touch. It's the hit of the week. But I na kuchuka cut. Beat in a boom boom. Hit of the week. But 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 I na kuchuka cut. Home hits. Crossing over. Crossing over. Are we crossing over? Jesus taking over. Are we crossing over? Are we crossing over? Are we crossing over? Brand on the phone. Come on, you need to be a phone one. Brand on the phone. Come on, come on. Welcome, welcome, Karibu Tanja. Well done. How you gonna put my babu to? Sinano near ring ring. Usiyo kupi medicine. Don't you see today? Home hits.